Hello, I am back from a long break. I know it's been a fair few weeks, but I've been away and it's a long story. We'll catch up another time because I'm sure all you're interested in right now is seeing the Sephora goodies that I bought. Don't worry, that's coming up soon. But at the end of the video or towards the end, I'm also going to show you the bits and bobs that I bought on holiday, aka the holiday tap. Sorry, it's got to be in a video somewhere. It's going to be this one. So the first part's going to be my Sephora beauty haul, and then the rest of it is going to be my uh, little knickknacks, little spoiler, you know, like holiday shite, like shells and stuff like that. So if you want to see my holiday tap, Stay tuned. But for now, let's dig into the Sephora bag. So there's a horrible fly in here. It's scaring me a bit, because it's a really ugly one. It's not your standard fly. It's not even a bigger version of the standard fly. It's like a hybrid of mozzy, dirty, ugly fly thing. I'm worried it might bite. It's got a bitey face. So if I'm like this, that's why. Okay, so first of all, I picked up the Too Faced Hangover Primer. So this is to put on before your foundation or I think maybe on its own with a little bit of makeup. It's supposed to make your skin more radiant and glowing. So I like the sound of that. I've heard good things about it. I saw it and thought, yeah, I'm gonna give that a go. So there's that one. Next is the It Bye Bye Breakout Concealer. This is a heavy, full coverage, full on concealer for oily, acne prone skin. Yes, I like the sound of that. I don't have acne, but I do have very oily skin, blemishes, large pores, spots, all those kind of things. So a heavy duty concealer is always gonna be my friend. I saw this, it's new. Um, so I was like, it's, yeah, I'm gonna try that one. I've heard good things about the CC cream by It Cosmetics. So obviously I didn't buy that, I bought something else instead. That makes sense, doesn't it? But I thought I'd give this a try. So it's a little, pop like this. Dippy dippy, is it dippy? It's not dippy dippy, it's got a little sponge. Yeah, it's got a sponge. Haven't tried it yet, so that's why I'm like, oh, what's this, what's that? It smells a bit nail varnishy. This product contains an alpha hydroxy acid. It's spot targeting as well, so it helps your spots at the same time as being full coverage. It's gotta be a winner, isn't it? Hopefully, fingers crossed, so that's that one. Isle of Paradise Light Self Tanning Water. I've never tried a self tanning water before. And I picked it up in the shop. I was like, oh yeah, that kind of looks nice. And I totally forgot I'd seen this in Boots. So I thought, oh yeah, this is like an exclusive that I'm buying in Sephora. Now you could buy it in Boots Love. So yeah, that's this one, Isle of Paradise. And I was looking at it, the guy doing the rounds in the shop that worked there was like, girl, that is amazing stuff. Oh my God, it's the best thing I've ever used ever. It does streak, it makes me look amazing and it covers up everything. Look, look, look what it's covered up. Oh my God. So I was like, all right then. He said it was good. I'll give it a go, all right then. So I bought it. Then <laughs> the funny thing was when I went out, Ian had quickly nipped in to try and hurry me up. He must've picked something up and looked at it. And that same bloke was like, oh my God, that's amazing. That is the best thing I have ever tried. And sorry, I'm, I'm just insulting him, this man with my accent. But um, yeah, he basically, he had me, I bought it. So we'll see. He's, he said it doesn't streak. He hasn't seen how I apply fake tan. So hello, Sunkiss Glow. We'll give it a go. Next, a Tarte palette. This one, the Tarte Iron Cheek Palette, Play Play Volume 2. I was looking at the palettes, the Tarte palettes, because I've never tried one before, and this one was half price. So I was kind of like, well, and they were $40 each. So $20, I like the colors. I thought, I'm just gonna try this one. So there's the packaging. It's got a lovely big mirror there. There I am, hi. So that was a win. I probably paid $15 for that mirror. But anyway, here's the colours. So along the top, or the bottom, because I'm holding it the other way, is a blusher, a bronzer, and like a highlighter. And then there's a mix of shimmer shadows and matte shadows too. These colours are beautiful. I just thought it's the sort of thing that I would actually wear pretty much every day when I'm wearing eyeshadow. So yeah, I've used it a few times, happy with it so far, and 
Oh, it smells like chocolate. So I'm gonna dye it. All I have to do is this, all this, to get my chocolate hit. Mm, it does smell good. You'll see teeth marks in that soon. Next up, a Sephora green clay mask. So it, I think it's just a basic clay mask really. Um, deep cleansing the pores, natural source of minerals. This one is for purifying and pore perfecting. This has four goes in it. So we'll see, because I mean, the surface area is rather large. So I don't know if I'll get four goes out of it. And I like to smother it all the way down. So I don't know where I'll get four goes out of it, but you know, I'll try, I'll scrimp a little bit. I like the packaging. So yeah, I like the little, it's like the kids fruit pouch thing. Let's just hope they don't get out of it. Next up, the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I got the mini one. I should have just got the big one. I was trying to be good. Well, obviously, trying to be good. I'm trying to be good of, oh, I need a mascara, but I'll just try this little one. In fact, I bought a big one earlier on in my holiday and my bag got nicked. This is another story that I'm not happy about and I'll tell you about it another time. Two mascaras, it was a pack of two and they both went, so... This, I think that's why I was like, just gonna buy a little one, just in case. I do like this, I've used it a few times, the brush is really nice. Um, so yeah, full blast one for 36 hours. So when you leave your mascara on for 36 hours, like everyone does, it will be full of volume for 36 hours. So yes, well done there. Okay, I'm, I'm saving like the boom, boom, boom item till last, which is not this one, it's the next one, but anyway. This one is a semi-boom because it's something I was like, oh yeah, it's new, I haven't tried this before. Lanige. 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 Lanige water sleeping mask. Lanige um, have a lip balm, which everyone's raving about, the rose one. And I almost bought it $20 for a lip balm. It's essentially what my thought process was, was oh my God, everyone's got that, I have to have it. 20 quid though for lip balm. Are my lips that bad? Not that bad. So instead I spent 20 quid dollars on a water sleeping mask because skincare is different, it doesn't count. It's basically an intense moisturiser but for night time. It says it's a mask but you put moisturiser on and leave it on and wash your face in the morning so it's basically a moisturiser. It's just said mask. Anyway, what drew me in was the fact that it's kind of like a jelly texture and I like moisture surge that is quite jelly-esque. So, or gel-esque. And that's what drew me into this. So yes, Lanige. I have no idea, no idea if that's how you say it. It looks like it, so it's Lanige. I think it's Korean. Yes, made in Korea. So, that's that one. And now we're on to the boom, boom, boom item. Da, 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 da. It was expensive. Do I care? No, because I was on holiday. I would have bought it anyway, but the fact I was on holiday meant I could get away with it because I could say I was on holiday. And that is a Sunday Riley Power Kit. I've tried one of the UFO oil ones before. Yeah, so it was like that. And I don't hear much about it. Not that I go on everyone else's opinion rather than my own, but I kind of got the same vibes out there of it's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but with this one it's meant to be the daddy so I bought it and it's a set of two with the lunar oil and the good jeans cream so the lunar oil is like a retinol it's anti-aging retinol reducing the appearance of fine lines wrinkles clearer skin all of that and then after that, you used a lactic acid treatment, which is the good genes. This is a high potency purified grade lactic acid. Again, to help even skin tone, clarify, exfoliate. So these two together are. Now I've used it twice. The first night I used Luna and the good genes. Second night I just used Luna because I forgot to put the good genes on. So it's going well. But this is the, this is it so far. Let's not judge it yet, okay? So there's the little kit. And I thought, okay, so it's $85. 
$105 value. So for $85, let's say 70 quid, something like that. Yes, pricey, but skincare is everything, okay? I saved $20 on a lip balm, so $20 went towards this. That was my thinking. I almost bought that, I didn't, therefore I had $20 towards this. So, um, this was my most exciting thing that I got out of the haul because I'm, yeah, I really wanted to try this. That's it for Sephora, but I do have a couple of other beauty bits to show you before I move on to the tap. Now, this is from Bath & Body Works, the aromatherapy range. I think it's like one of their new things, but oh, goodness me. Oh, you know when you just really like a smell and other people smell it, they're like, it's all right, but no. I really like this. So this one is the Natural Essential Oils Body Wash and Foam Bath. Stress Relief, Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Ah. And then this one, the Lavender and Cedarwood. Let's have a sniff, just to help myself sleep. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it in my being. So what I did was, there's a three for two offer, or two for or ten for three or each bath and body works i went in it was different four for five three for nine i don't know all well, that kind of thing and i thought it was buy three get three three but not on the aromatherapy range because that's the nice stuff so it was only like body sprays and plug-in things in the wall that were like three for three so i got two but anyway i'm happy with them on to the holiday tat. I don't think it's tat, but I mean, okay, let's take the shell for example. When you're on holiday and you go into a shell shop, you get in the zone of, I need a shell on every shelf in my house. I love shells, shells, shell, 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 shells. Okay, you buy one, okay, and you come away with it and you're like, yay, this reminds me of holiday. And then you get it home and you're like, I've got a shell. Okay, it's gonna go in my Parisian themed bedroom really well, you know? I know, I'll whack it in the bathroom because that's always gonna be seaside -y, isn't it? But I do actually really like the shell. So yes, there we go. $12. But it's a fancy one. It's got mother of pearl and all sorts. So yeah, that's my first thing. I've got that in Miami, no, Key West. Beads, everyone buys a bead bracelet on holiday. La 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 la. This was my bead bracelet of choice. There we go. It's some sort of agate and glass beads. Bought it from Key West. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. <laughs> oh, this one is the ultimate holiday, but a holiday souvenir. It's a frame with Miami Beach on it. <laughs> I'm gonna put a picture in there of me on Miami Beach. There we go. Simple as that. Next is this little purse. I'm having an out of money experience. These little purses and um, little bags and zippy things. Blue Q bags. They were pretty much everywhere in America. And they're just really like funky. Funky, like that. I mean, how funky is that? Having an out of money experience. So yeah, I've got that as well. And this wasn't tat, this is something nice that I chose that my mum bought for me. It was from their equivalent of TK Maxx. I think it's TJ Maxx. I can hear the bloody fly. <gasps> oh no, that's a standard fly. Because I have 20,000 flies in this house at the moment. So sorry fly, you were the wrong one. Got the wrong identity. So it's a set of two, um, set of two chains. One silver with like a goldy bit at the bottom. And then this one, I suppose it's like a rosy gold kind of gold. This one with a moon on it. So it's a pack of two, Luna Nought. I think I've seen these in the UK TK Maxx's as well. But I thought they're really sweet and you can layer them up. So yeah, really like that. I've got some crystals and stuff like that. We're gonna do another haul video for that because you might not, I might bore you with that one if you're not into that kind of thing. But I did get this. A wind chime with the crystal agate bit. 
crystals in the middle and another bit of agate. I'm going to put it in an open window to piss the neighbours off. We'll put it in the garden. Yes, I bought that in, I think it was Key West again. Like a Quickly on to a few bits of clothes that I bought. I got this vest top from San Francisco in Upper Playground. If you're going by any chance, you're just watching this and happen to be going, or you know, in the future, just remember, Upper Playground is a really kind of funky t-shirt shop. Mainly menswear, but there's a bit of female as well, women's wear. And I've got this one, Golden State of Mind. So it's the Golden State, Golden State of Mind, a meditating bear. You know, Golden State bear? Yes, I like it. So I'm gonna wear that while meditating and doing yoga. Um, might even wear it to Audi. Next is from San Francisco, Haight Ashbury. It's like a really cool hippie kind of area. And there's loads of kind of thrifty shops. I got this. It's a leopard. Vintage. This is a vintage jumper. I don't actually know if it's vintage or yeah, they probably just pretend, don't they? But it's meant to be a vintage like thrifty find. Goes on to the back as well. There's its bum. There's its head. It's a leopard. It's got beads, sequins. It's like Pat Butcher. Eat your heart out. Love it. Then this from a thrifty shop as well is this. It's like a sheer shirt thing, dress thing. Don't know where I'm going to wear it. I might not. I might just have it hanging somewhere in my dressing area because I bought this because I've got those shoes. They were my wedding shoes and I had those nail varnishes and uh, I like I like that. And um, yeah, it's got Louis Vuitton. Oh, I've got that lipstick. It was a bit like that. I saw it and I was like, oh, it's a bit sad. But I have that bag as well. You know, it was a bit like that. I'm like, oh, yeah, I have that. And it was $15 from a thrifty shop, so. I was on holiday, it was fine. So that's it for my Sephora haul and my random holiday tat haul. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up it, share it, love it, subscribe, all that, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye bye now.